Welcome to the training module, Essential Activity Codes in Primavera P6. We're going to step outside of CPM scheduling for a moment and move into concepts around organizing your schedule. But it's more than just organizing your schedule too. Well, uh, you'll see what I mean. Primavera P6's Activity Codes feature opens the door to making your project schedule much easier to use. By incorporating activity codes, you'll have a schedule that is more organized, easier to report on, a schedule that can be analyzed from many different angles, better documented, and much easier to use in general. Activity codes in Primavera P6 are completely optional in the course of building a schedule. There's no need to add activity codes to a schedule, but if you do, they'll greatly enhance the usefulness and flexibility of your schedule. As you can tell, I'm a fan of P6's activity codes. They are one of the most useful and essential features of Primavera P6. Okay, so what exactly do activity codes do? Well, activity codes give you the ability to add customized data to each of your activities. You guys know that a P6 activity has a unique ID, a name, some duration, and a start and finish date. But what if there was some additional information about that activity that was important to you? How about the area or the location where the work is taking place? You could use an activity code to tag your activity with a location. What if you really wanted to track which activities are assigned to your three foremen? Well, just add your three foremen to an activity code and then tag your activities appropriately with each foreman. What about identifying which trade owns the activity? Or maybe which subcontractor? What about linking project activities to contract items from the bid? These are only a few examples of additional information you can add to your schedule using P6's activity codes. And in truth, the possibilities here are endless because activity codes are customizable tags that you create however you want. Now, having all of this additional information in your project schedule is all very nice. But is that all you can do? Nope, there's so much more. What about filtering? Now you can build customized filters to help you focus on activities that meet all sorts of criteria. It's easy to filter activities based on any of the activity codes you've added to your schedule. And don't forget, there's also grouping. Now you can group work based on your activity coding. You can group all of the electrical work together, pulling from across the entire project, for example. And when you want to get fancy, you can do this. Show me the work my subcontractor is doing in area one related to contract item D. With activity codes, you now have the power to slice and dice your activities to build reports, analyze work, and facilitate planning, scheduling, and updating. So in this module, I'll take you through all of the steps you need to know to build activity codes and assign them to your P6 activities. I'll also show you how to filter, group, and sort based on your activity codes. You'll become a coding wizard in no time.